hi assalamu alaikum peace to you in this video uh, i will show you how to analyze and design a steel beam in etabs 2016 here is the example 4.1 from steel structures third edition by zahid ahmed siddiqui beams with continuous lateral support design a 7 meter long simply supported i section beam subjected to service live load of 5 kN per meter and imposed dead load of 6 kN per meter as shown in figure 4.19 the compression flange is continuously supported means its compression flange is continuously braced at uh, from the top flange and there are two parts of this example use a36 steels means uh, fy250 megapascal and steel with fy345 megapascal and permissible live load deflection of span 450 so i will show only example with uh, with steel strength fy250 megapascal now i will go in to the e tabs uh, from scratch file here i am clicking new model so our model is in si unit system so i will select system international unit system and the database used in this example the database used in this example is also metric so i will also select the database for steel section database with m sign there are difference without m and m m showing the metric system and uh, the database means all the sections will be in millimeter or uh, dimensions and in aisc 14 that all the sections will be in the fps system so here okay so here i will make the arrangement of the grids so in the x direction there will be needed only two grids on the y one and the span length of the uh, beam is 7 meter in the y direction there is no need of grid so that's why i have put one one and one story will be enough so that's why i have put it uh, one meter so here i click grid only okay okay in the left window it's showing the plan view and in the right window it's showing the 3d view so now i will click elevation okay one apply okay uh, and i feel comfortable to work only in one window so that's why i will close the second window here so now i can check the span length here is 0 0 and here is 7 0 means mm, uh, my grid system is okay and the next thing is in this example uh, 7 meter the to to verify this example so i will just select the which section is uh, this section is designed by this example that is w360 32.9 so i will select that section and apply the loading and i will check that will it satisfy the uh, will it satisfy the uh, or match with the example or manual example or not so it's let's check again that is the final section w360 32.9 here indian properties frame section first of all i will uh, start from the material properties here is not present uh, a36 steel so i will click add new material united state steel so you can check here is a astm a36 steel so here Great. Okay. 
okay i can also check the design property data here is the uh, minimum yield strength is fy i will change it to 250 megapascal because that value is used in our manual example okay okay its name is a3060 okay define section properties frame sections so let's see is there present w360 32 point yes exam uh, this section is present if that is not present we can import new properties uh, of all other section for example in this example only w section is are uh, are appearing but if you need uh, c section uh, c sections angle section so you can import from here so i am clicking okay so now i will draw beam and from here i will select w360 32.9 it is w360 32.9 so i will click from near node to far node okay escape now you can see it's a simply supported beam of 7 meter length and its section is w360 32.9 so now i will apply the loadings what are the loadings uh, the service live load 5 and dead load of 6 kN per meter. I will click the beam and assign frame loads distributed. So, dead load is 6 kN meter, it's a uniform load. Apply. So, let's check again. Okay, and the live load is. I will uh, click again and change the load live to 5 apply ok and uh, now you can see only 5 is appearing not the 6 by right clicking on the beam in the loads you can see both loads are present its uniform dead is 6 and uniform live is 5 kN per meter ok so now I will go in the define load patterns. So in the manual, uh, okay. Now in the define in the load combinations, add new load combination. So in this example, the load combination is used 1.2 dead plus 1.6 live. So here I am creating 1.2 dead plus 1.6 live. Here I will put the factors 1.2 add new load live 1.6 okay 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 now I have defined the material find the section defined the load combinations now after uh, doing all these things there is only one thing is remaining big all loading section and now there is only one thing that the compression flange is continuously spotted means its top flange is continuously braced from uh, from 0 to 7 meter so how we provide the bracing in uh, in e-tabs i will click the beam and go into the design steel frame section uh, frame design here is lateral bracing i will click program determine or user specified I will click the user specified uh, uniform bracing because in our case the bracing is present from 0 to 7 meter so I will click here and provide the uh, the bracing here I have clicked the absolute distance add so from where end to where end that is present start end to up to 7 meter and which uh, brace type is top bottom or all only top okay okay so i have also provided the the bracing so now all the things uh, have been done so now i will save the model new folder exact 
example 4.1 after saving the model I will run the analysis okay in this uh, analysis you can see shear force diagram bending moment diagram display here here is you you can check the reactions apply okay in the tabulated form you can also uh, check uh, against the load combination apply okay now I will check the shear force and bending moment diagrams okay by right clicking you can see the uh, shear force diagram bending moment diagram and deflection diagram here against 1.2 dead plus 1.6 live load combination okay now I will go towards the design here I am checking the preferences I am designing the steel section according to AISC 36010 section so here are the rest of the parameters design provision LRFD you can also select the AST but um, but uh, in this modern era LRFD is, is going is being used so uh, I am uh, okay with that the param with the parameters here uh, I am selecting the select design combination So here is the select. Uh, I have selected the design combination against which I will design the uh, our um design my section. Now I will go in the design frame section and click start design slash check. Okay, click yes. Here yeah. uh, now I I will click right click on this section and here is the demand our capacity ratio so that is 0.78 means our capacity of the section is more than the applied so that is the ratio so if that is greater than one so our design section is failed so we have to revise the section so now now i am checking the details here is the uh, uh, location where the beam is designing because uh, in our example uh, simply spotted beam the maximum moment is at the center so that's why it's designing at the center location that is the load combination here is a section uh, that is the length of the beam so oh, these are all the properties of this section uh, modulus of elasticity 200 GPA FY 250 megapascal uh, here is the um, moment applied and here is the moment capacity 122.4 our section is 360.4 uh, 32.9 so I will select that how much is the capacity of uh, over section here is the W360 32.9 here is the capacity of our section uh, 122.4 so that is exactly the same as we have seen in this example so now we will uh, check the uh, deflection criteria so here is the deflection criteria so deflection criteria is also satisfied means that is less than one uh, uh, so our deflection criteria is also okay. it means the book have selected the right uh, section which is satisfying the load requirement and the deflection requirement so that's all thank you